Number 103, an RLC series circuit has a 2.5 ohm resistor, a 100 micro Henry inductor, and an 80 microfarad capacitor letter A. Find the power factor at a frequency of 120 hertz. All right, so check out number 101. We actually calculated something that we need for this problem uh, in order to answer it, okay? So the power factor, what is that? Well, power factor turns out to be this thing over here on the right-hand side. It's cosine of this angle, phi. Okay, cosine phi is known as the power factor. So here, cosine phi is going to be equal to the resistance divided by the impedance. Now, this is what we calculated in number 101. All right, so if you have to, if you want to see how to calculate it, um, check that one out. All right, so cosine then, or the power factor here, instead of calling it that, let's just call it the power factor, is the resistance of 2.5 ohms divided then by the impedance, which we calculated before is 16.7. All right. So the power factor here, we're not solving it for the angle, we're just doing the division here. So this is 2.5 divided by the 16.7. I'm rounding the answer a little bit, but it should be fine, okay? So this is gonna work out to be about 0 0.14, well, 150, I guess, right? 150. If I remember correctly, this number was like 16.66, I don't know, something. Very close to 16.7, all right? So this is the power factor, 1.50. All right, that takes care of letter A. Let it be then. What is the phase? What is the phase angle at 120 hertz? So now this is actually finding. That's what this angle is. It's called the phase angle. All right. So cosine of the phase angle is equal to 0 0.150. You got to do the inverse cosine of both sides. All right. So you're going to take the inverse cosine of both sides. Make sure, by the way, that your calculator now. If we're trying to find the angle, it depends on. Depends on what you want to solve for. If you want to find it in degrees or radians, okay? You got to make sure your calculator is in the right mode. So the phase angle here, we can, let's make sure it's in, it will do it in degrees, okay? So go to mode, make sure your calculator is in degree mode, and then do second cosine of uh, that exact answer from before. And that works out to be about 81.4 degrees. All right, so that's about the phase angle. All right. And then letter C now, it says, what is the average power? So average power, so we have a nice little formula over here on the bottom right, all right? That the average power will be equal to the root mean square current multiplied by the root mean square voltage, all right, times the cosine of, of that, uh, of that uh, phase angle. So notice what I'm gonna do here. Uh, I'm gonna do actually a substitution. The root mean square current is equal to, it's equal to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and plug it on into here, okay? So we now have a value here of VRMS squared, right? Divided then by the uh, impedance. And this whole thing is going to be multiplied then by cosine of that angle, all right, of that phase angle. So again, in this problem, they didn't give us, you know, a... Uh, I'm looking through, they didn't tell us the, um, the uh, voltage, but I think the voltage from the other problem was about 5.6. So we, we need that in order to solve it. So there's going to be 5.6. Check out again, number 101 squared. Then uh, divide that now by the, uh, what do we have here? Divide that now by the uh, uh, impedance of the 16.7. Sorry, multiply that by the, the phase angle 0.15. All right, cosine of that, right? It's that's what this is equal to. So then this is the average. Hopefully, your professor doesn't make you do this junk. Divided by 16.7 times 0.15. So this works out to be about 0 0.282 watts. That's the average power. And then it says find the average power at the circuit's uh, resonant frequency. So this is also something we calculated number 101. So the resonant frequency, I believe, was somewhere around uh, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 3, I think it was. And then uh, now what I need to do is find that average power, okay, at the circuit's now uh, resonant frequency. So in problem 101, we found that the root mean square uh, current here with the, at this resonant frequency was about 2.24 amps. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the power equation, right? It's so the root mean square current here with 2. 
2.24 multiplied by that voltage of 5.6 multiplied then by that phase angle or the power factor of 0.15. All right, and we're gonna get 5.6 times then 2.24 times then 0.15. It's about 1.88 or so, 1.88 watts. All right, so guys, that about does it. All right, so check out that problem 101 for some of where these answers are coming from, these values. All right, and I'll see you in the next problem. Take care.